Hello, Randy Rain here, and in this video, it's about an imp bottle. And if you don't know what an imp bottle is, let me show you. It's basically a little genie looking bottle that's kind of like a weeble wobble. It weebles and it wobbles, but it won't fall down. And so the idea is you get someone to try to lay it down. No matter what they do, the bottle will not lay down. But then when it comes time for the magician to do it, the bottle lays down easily just like that. But of course, anybody has they can't get it to lay down. That's the magic trick. Now, if you know how it works, spare me the comments because it's a magic trick that's been in every single magic kit from the beginning of time. I'm sure Egyptians played with the imp bottle. Okay, so it's not that impressive. Let people have their fun if they don't know how it works. Matter of fact, there's even more than one method, but this video is about how I make these little weeble wobble type bottle. So let me show you. So it all starts with two 3D printed pieces and my 3D printer isn't good enough to do it any other way. But doing it like that, gluing it together, that'll be fine. Now, I'm, I want it to look like clay, so I'm going to cover it with my old pal CA glue. All right, so it's starting to look good. I'm liking it. I like the little voids, which is what I wanted, but there's some line, line, line that just I don't like. To fix those, I'm just gonna use clay. It's just a piece of dowel rod that I sanded down. Okay, first we'll go with the sticky wax.
Hutch using the Mold Max 30. Now I need to know how much it takes to fill up all the way to about halfway here, from here to here. So we'll pour some water into the mold. So half uh, up there. All right, I need my pigment color. There's some brown in here. Add some iron oxide. Add some of this orange. Kind of going for a terracotta look. I think it can be a little bit more orangey. So it's been thoroughly dried. Water is the enemy. I'm gonna try filling to there and choosing the smooth cast onyx. This stuff, it's this super fine silica. It's like little, supposed to be like little balloons. 
and it's just a feel to make your plastic lighter. So I'm going to go with two heapings. With the plastic here resin in. And now I tilt it around until it's going to want to come out and I coat the whole inside and it's fast curing this is the fast stuff and so I'll let it cure just like that it should be filled from about halfway down to here. And then all up here should just be a thin coat. And now, BBs. This time I'm going with lead shot as well. Now this is just regular plastic. Got it all, all in there. Good grief, it's hard to get these out. That's a good sign though, at least it works, at least you can't get it to lay down. But here's the real test, if I put a cork in it, will it still do it? Oh, look at there, yep, okay.
inside this little bottle as a little imp, a little devilish imp. And right now, the imp is sound asleep. But if I disturb the imp, blow. As you can see, So if you like one of these imp bottles, I do make them. There's, of course, a link below. If you like this video, we sure would appreciate a big thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people. These are patrons. These are the people helping me out. These are the people helping me bring videos to show you how I make little imp bottles. Little clever imp bottles. So I thank these people oh so very much. And if you'd like to become a patron, of course, there's some perks and whatnot. So check the link below. Anyway, if you want an imp bottle, there's the link. Thanks for watching. Inside this little bottle as a little imp, a little devilish imp. And right now, the imp is sound asleep. But if I wake the imp up, give it a little shake, blow. <laughs> now the imp is wide awake. <laughs>